I want you to take a look at the difference between two versions of an animation for a bicycle. Here's version number one. And here's version number two. Did you notice anything different? Which one felt more natural? Let me play them for you one more time. And in particular, I want you to focus on the way that the bicycle starts moving and stops moving. So here's version one. Did you notice that it starts and stops very abruptly? Check it out once again. It's almost like when the bicycle stops, it collides with an invisible wall. Now let's contrast that with version number two. When the bicycle starts moving, it looks like it gets a little bit of a shove, which gives it a quick little acceleration. And the bicycle comes to more of a gradual stop as opposed to the very abrupt and sudden stop in the first example. Let me play it for you one more time. The differences that you've been seeing are caused by easing or easing functions, also known as timing functions. And this is a very important aspect of working with animations. Easing is the thing that gives personality and spark and liveliness to our animations. In my JavaScript file, I'm first getting reference to that bicycle image, and then I'm using a very simple gsap.toTween to animate that bicycle. I've set its duration to a value of one second. I've set its X property to a value of 500 or 500 pixels. I set a delay of one second just to give a little bit of a pause before the animation starts. And here's the important part where I set an ease property. And in this case, I've set it to a value of none. And this is what I used for the first example of the bicycle. Now in plain CSS, this is the equivalent of doing an ease value of linear. This means that the bicycle is going to start moving abruptly and end abruptly. And in between that start and end point, it's going to move in a linear way. That is, at a linear rate of change. And I'm going to play this animation for you in a second so you can see it again. But that's what gives this animation a very mechanical and kind of plain and boring feel. It really doesn't resemble how objects move in the real world. Because in the real world, objects usually have to overcome some inertia to get moving in the first place. And it usually takes a little bit of ramp up time to do that. And for objects to come to a stop, there's often some friction that causes them to slow down sort of in a gradual way. So let's play it one more time and notice how the bicycle, as it's moving from left and right, does so in a very straight, steady, robotic kind of way. Here we go. To contrast this type of linear ease, let's look at some of the basic easing functions that GSAP provides out of the box. These are the in, out, and in, out eases. And each one of them has four variations called powers. Let's start with the out ease because this is a type of ease that GSAP uses by default. With an out type of ease, the change, in this case, the movement of the bicycle from left to right across the x-axis, no longer moves at that constant, boring, linear rate of change. Rather, it begins with a quick acceleration and comes to a more gradual stop towards the end. Hence the term ease out. So in our GSAP code, if we set ease to power1.out, we can see this in action. As I mentioned, each of these easing types has four power variations. And you can think of these as levels of exaggeration. For example, with power1.out, there's a bit longer of an acceleration towards the beginning, and then that last 30 or 40% of the animation is where the gradual taper out occurs. To contrast, if we look at power4, there's a much quicker acceleration at the beginning, and a much longer gradual taper out to the end. And to see this a bit more easily, let's increase the duration from one second to three seconds and set the ease to power 4.out. And notice that quicker acceleration at the beginning and that longer taper off towards the end. By the way, power 1.out is the default ease used by GSAP. So even if you don't explicitly set an ease, 
you'll get a power one dot out easing function. Now the in easing functions are basically the inverse of the out easing functions. So here with the power four dot out before, we had a quicker acceleration in and a more gradual taper out towards the end. However, if we do power four dot in, well now we're gonna have a very gradual slow acceleration in at the beginning and then a very quick and abrupt taper out at the end. So check this out. Start nice and slow, and then quickly speed up to the end. So I'm showing these examples with power four and power one because those are the extremes where you can really see the differences. But like I mentioned before, you can think of these as different levels of exaggeration. So definitely play around with the other variations like power two dot in and power three dot in and you can experiment to find the one that suits your animation best. But hold up, wait a minute, let me put my booty in it. There's one more easing function that we have to talk about and that's called in out. So as you might imagine, in out combines an ease in and an ease out. So for example, if I do power four dot in out, let's check out our animation. So what you can see is there is a pretty gradual acceleration at the beginning and a pretty gradual taper out to the end. However, in the middle is where all the action happens. That's where we really build up momentum and create a quick acceleration. So let me play it for you one more time. Notice the gradual beginning, quick middle, and gradual end. And with this video, I really just wanted to cover the basic easing functions of GSAP, but there's much more to explore. GSAP has a lot of other really cool kind of eases that we can use and I'll be going into those in a follow-up video. If you're interested in learning how to bring your web pages to life with cool animations, GSAP, and scrolly telling techniques, check out my course, Scrolly Telling 101. Since I launched the course, the response has been amazing, with students commenting on the wealth of web dev tips and tricks included in the lessons. I'm gonna leave a link down below for you, and you can start by checking out some of the free preview videos there. I think you're gonna love it.